Hey, how's it going everyone? Zero Day here and welcome to part 7 of my solo adventure on WoW Classic for my Orc Warlock. So in the last episode, I finally was able to leave the Valley of Trials and we collected a whole bunch of quests in the last episode. This one, I'm just going to be questing around Duo's Hard, especially questing around um, Razor Hill. I'm going to try and get some of these quests completed. Uh, let's see, I've always started on this one. I mean, this episode's not, like nothing new. Sorry if I'm talking weird. I got like, a, a insane, I got like a cut on my tongue backside. It's making my tongue super fracking sensitive to talk with. It's hell of annoying too, I'm trying to eat or swallow. It hurts too, which I've been, which is why I've been putting peroxide on it. Anyways, so uh, let's see, dark storm, leave that one. Is that was saying, leave that one. Uh, Mincha, Skull, leave that one. Okay, so the ones I will do while I'm in Razor Hill, Razor Hill's presence is. Let's see, encroachment. Right. Yeah, encroachment and vanquish the betrayers. I think that'll get me up to like level eight, I want to say. Between me killing the NPCs and the quest experience. Hopefully, they'll get me around to level eight. I mean, if I want to, hell, I could team up with a couple, like with a group of people in uh, Ico Wilds, check out some of the. Um, Take out some of the hex, the voodoo trolls, and as well as kill Zalazane. Hopefully, but don't know yet. Alright, let's just do uh, this quest. Being a little bit low. Being. Let's see. Vanquish the betrayers. 10 sailor, 10 Colterra sailors, 8 marines, and 1 lieutenant Benedict. No, why not? So, I know it's been about a week and a half since my last uh, solo adventure video. I do apologize. Been recording a lot of other videos, such as uh, it's a couple of new Stellaris videos, a couple of new Wolfenstein videos. Um, and also, a quick announcement. Um, once my video once my video count on my channel reaches around eighty to ninety. I'm going to start the process of recording my first first ever channel introduction video because I'm nearing 100 videos and I think it's about time I got myself a bit of a channel introduction. That way if people ever do watch my videos they want, they'll, they'll want to know what my channel is about so might as well get a channel um, introduction video recording, recording, recorded, you know? God damn this. Sorry, this kind of my tongue is really interfering right with my ability to talk. Hella sensitive. Been taking, been dousing my tongue with some perox, um, with some, not hydrogen peroxide, but with like some, um, not listerine either, but it's like some type of special mouthwash peroxide. You just, yeah, my, I, I have a cut on my tongue. Is probably, probably eating some, some type of super sharp food, or me just nibbling on my. Bloody fingernails and a fragment gets lodged in my tongue, ca causes it to cut. <laughs> and now I got cut on my tongue. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, so between eighty to ninety. So once my video video cow gets between eighty to ninety, I will record a channel introduction video. Like I said, for people who watch my videos, they'll want though they will want to know what my channel is about. And, I mean, I've been wanting to do a channel introduction video for the longest time. I was thinking about, uh, let's see, my demon armor first. I was thinking about doing a channel introduction video at, like, 75 videos, but I figured I, I wanted to tell you folks first that I was going to be doing a channel introduction video before... I was trying to say... I was going to do record and upload a channel introduction video around uh, 75 video count, but I figured I want to tell you folks first so you know, you know, um, what I'm going to be doing. So around 80 to 90 video count, 
I will be recording and uploading a channel introduction video. Now I'm not sure how many channel video channel introduction videos I'm going to be doing in my lifespan for this channel, but let's see how many I get produced out. Um, you know, when I get, you know, hit more subscriber counts, more video counts, more likes, follows, you know, that sort of thing. And at the same time, I'm just sorry if I'm like half talking. I'm just looking at the chat, what the hell anyone's talking about in general chat. Oh, God. But yeah. So besides doing a channel introduction video, um, I'm also gonna, I'm also sometime in the near future going to be doing some music montage videos. I did it for my other channels before I deleted them and I wanted, you know, I want to do the, the music montages again because I love doing those so much. They're so fun to do. So, Curse Tongue, oh, Curse of Weakness actually, I was going to say Curse of Tongue, but no, that's, um, Demon Talk, I think. Jesus Christ. That's how I took out my imp and I forced swings. Hey, no, 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 no. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna let my uh, mana heal back up on that one. But, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of music montages and, montages and whatnot. I, got, I actually have a bit of a list going right now for the mo music montages I want to do for the channel. A couple of the music montages involve the games uh, No More Room in Hell. And I gotta sit away from this NPC. No More Room in Hell. Uh, okay, here it is. Actually, made, yeah. Music montages for games. Apex Legends, Sea of Thieves... CSGO, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, though I'll probably get rid of that one because I don't play Modern Warfare anymore. I don't think anybody does. Everyone is up with Modern Warfare 2. Uh, then just an FPS compilation, Just Cause 3, No More Room in Hell, and then I got my four channel trailers. Well, channel introduction video, channel trailer, same thing, but yeah. So anyways, I have to get my channel trailer video out of the way with... I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do try and do some music montages because I want to do. I want to do some music montages. I when I, when I did the music montages, I loved doing them just because the action the action scenes from the games combined with music was so fucking good. It just was. Hmm, scroll. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, uh, little linen cloth. I take that, add that right there. Uh, try to remember. I think the linen cloth. Give me one second. I do apologize for the pause. So for the linen cloth, I'm probably gonna create a mage and hand the linen cloth off to him or her. Be so because I'm gonna have my mage. So besides wanting my mage to be mainly a portal main, basically you will know, make money. By creating portals and charging people gold for it. Um, I'm going to have my maids learn uh, tailoring. To, you know, make clothes and bags and whatnot. And this linen cloth will be a nice little jump, jump start. So at the same time, if I wanted to with my warlock, I could go into tailoring and maybe herbalism to help out my druid as well. Once I do create him, my druid will be going into herbalism and alchemy. Why not? Uh, so I'm just... I'm trying to figure out what the hell these guys are talking about. Uh, oh, you mean the penny guy. Why do American learn about Khan? They have to learn about European history. I think it's recent. All we learn about is how the British are so, so, still salty about red, white, and blue, baby. Okay. I am not entirely sh Okay, white main server is interesting. Who the hell just sent me invite? Oh, this person. I'll give it that much. Um, white main server chats are interesting to say the least. Super interesting. Apparently, this person sent me invite so we can clear out this place faster. Ah, hell, I'm down with it. 
Uh, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. Works too. Alright. Uh, I guess... I have no idea. Um... Okay. Rogue Kerbalism. Not my particular taste, but okay. I'm not sure what- okay, I'm, just, I'm not sure what the fuck this person's even doing here. Well, this level 8... Not sh Okay, if you're level 8, then I'll probably uh, get the same amount of XP and kills, probably, if I had to guess. Anyone need fizzle? Apply in the Duro Tar general chat. I'm not sure my friend. Oh, coastline, coastline, okay. Not sure if Azeron will respond to my uh, message about that. Find out though. And the one thing I gotta remember in Classic is that how you gotta be the same level practically as your NPC, but otherwise, they'll kick your ass with ease. That's the one thing I got to remember. Wild Classic, NPC foes, NPC foes, they gotta be at the same level as you, otherwise you can kick your ass with these. Probably why half the hardcore players die off so easily, hardcore then get transferred. So, funny thing about that, I was talking with my dad, um, not this past Sunday, but, um, Last Sunday, we were over over at my grandmother's house, kind of along and whatnot. And we were talking about WoW Classic and hardcore servers, and pretty much, my dad was saying how when hardcore players die, characters die. Well, no, when hardcore players die, my dad said their character gets transferred over to the classic servers, which is why classic is all of a sudden bloody booming again. But yeah, all fucking booming. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I just find it funny that um, sorry. I just find it funny that hardcore players get their characters get transferred over to classic when they die either from stupid stunts, movement, stupid moves or just too many NPCs on their ass I just find it funny Alright, uh, let's see. I do admit, it's nice having help on classic servers like this when you're trying to get to the top of this little keep. Oh! Shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Well, I'll be damned. Nice. Where's he's giving me a fucking free bag? <laughs> oh, holy shit. Nice. Okay. Gotta love classic service sometimes when you're, you know, gotta help out other people in need. This is the sort of thing I love. Oh, fuck. this. There's the one thing I love about classic servers, people help, help people helping out people. Especially when shit like this is you know when it, when in retail, you know, you can take on multiple NPCs with these, especially with heirloom items. Here you gotta rely you gotta have, you know, teamwork and build up on, you know help others out in the time of need. Oh fuck. I gotta help the time of need out. Oh you bitch. Oh wow, okay, we actually got cool. Nice. As I was trying to say, so it's nice, you know, in classic people helping out people. Where whereas in retail we would like got a character buffed up on like heirloom armor, weapons, and jewelry. They can take, they can take on the entirety of Terra Guard keep, whereas in classic, you know, cooperation and teamwork you can get the job done faster with these fucking quests. Especially in this place where it can easily get overrun by the NPCs he's walking about. 
in their fucking abilities. Alright. Oh, that works too. Yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah. So between eight, when my video count gets between 80 and 90, I will do my first channel trailer video. Gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna do that. I, I have a bit of a plan how I'm gonna be creating my first channel trailer video. Hey, motherfucker. Oh, no, 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 no. Better we invite him. Christ almighty, long ass speck of lag there. <laughs> this is what I'm saying! Cooperation team where he gets his done in fucking E. That's just hilarious. Let's see, mine. Mine. Oh, you bitch! No, 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 no. Oh, God damn it. Give me a second. I do apologize. Not my dad just came home. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here's as much. Yeah, people in class. Oh, yeah, there she goes. Yeah. Oh, but whether an envelope discover looking. What can I see? Add more, problem more. Okay. But that's the thing about. Oh, okay. yeah. And this is the thing about WoW Classic, I like people and cooperation teamwork and get through this 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 keep reveal to these. But I can retail a bunch of heirloom armor and weapons, jewelry. You have one man army. No I always hate this part. I could go back down to keep and just destroy every NPC in my path and get the whole seven that way. I could if I want to. I actually want to. Let's see. Uh, I am. I actually want to read the, what this letter says. I am. I am our proud more shall lead the first landing upon the shores of Kalimbor. Lieutenant Benedict will be second in command in my absence. All domestic. Cult, all domestic culturist military matters will be handled by him. I do not send. I do not send word from Tyrogar Keep within 12 months. Time. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't see that part. If I do not send word from Tyrogar Keep within 12 months, time Lieutenant Benedict will lead the second wave to hold the location. Meanwhile, I'm sending Lieutenant Alvarod on an exploratory mission around the continent of Kalandor. His forces are to complete their mission and train our forces at Tyrogar Keep. It is anticipated that Lieutenant Alvarez's mission will last quite some time. The new land seems vast and dangerous, but should any misfortunate befall myself or, Lu or Benedict, Alvarez's troops will retake the keep. We will send wave after wave until that stronghold is ours. I love that. I don't think anyone will respond to my text message today. About, um, Fizzle Dark Storm? I don't think so, do they? Um, No. Nice. Who else battling down there? Someone's battling in the keep. I can hear it. Uh, let's go see what's going on. Help him out. I can always get to level 7 just by doing this for these. Oh, yep. Here's somebody. <laughs> Figures. Ah, uh, whatever. I mean, I guess it's kind of better just. Oh, I know. I guess it's kind of better just for me to like walk back down the keep with my imp in hand rather than dismiss and jump off the ledge with like half health right at the bottom and just pray to God those cold tears and pieces don't attack me while I'm trying to reset with my imp. I suppose. Ooh, a sword. A sword. Ah, well. I will keep that handy for now. Oh, come on. Yeah, this. Okay, I got. Ow, you bastard. Good thing I have my demon armor on. 
Die, little bastard. Die. Yeah, this is the one thing I gotta remember is that the NPCs in the classic are a lot more tougher than in Lich King Classic or, wa or Retail. So I'll be some of my imp as soon as possible. I'll be a lot more happier at level 10 when I get my Void Walker. Oh yeah. Hmm, speaking of the devil. <laughs> Uh, hold on, I'm trying to... I'm trying to see. You are ugly. Long live the con. Why? I am not a con. Damn right you're not. You can never... Yes, where are you from? Why do you mock me? Mulgore, land of the Tauren. Okay. Great ass conversation. Sometimes this is why I also like playing in like really contested populated servers. I just watch and read what these idiots type to one another. Fucking hilarious. Really, dude? Damn! My am busy. My am busy. Kill left and right. Oh, no, you don't. Nope, nope. Boom, level 7. Nice. I am an orc my IRL. No, I am not mock. What? Why did you come here? Because you mocked Pawn. No, I am not mock. I do not mock. You called him ugly. This is the thing I'm talking about. Just like, just pure entertainment. Just watching these guys go back and forth in a general chat about the most stupid as shit. It's hilarious. Most hilarious thing ever. Alright. A couple more shadow bolts in this guy. Hopefully we're good. No idea though. Ooh, pants. A lot better than the ones I have. Alright, cool. Uh... Oh, okay, cool. Says me, uh... Uh, I'm gonna try to determine whether or not I want to use my hearthstone to hearth back to Razor Hill or not. Uh, this one's all good. I think I'm keeping these two until I complete the Razor main one. That way I can turn triple the quest in. I'll just do that, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hearth back to Razor Hill and we'll go do the Razor main quest. Or just probably end it here because my dad's home. And I don't need him in the background chatting while I'm trying to record a video. Uh, the one thing I am going to do though is to mail off, mail off the sword as well as the linen cloth to my bank all to sitting in under city right now next to a mailbox. Call it uh, Bank Olympus. Here we go. Uh, how much is how much is this going to cost me? If I, okay, not bad so uh I'll keep the oh actually I can use the orb right now actually no not the orb damn it well, actually enough that's it this particle okay let me sell all this shit 60 okay <laughs> sell that sell that sell that sell that Dumb. And let's see that perfect. I like having offhand weapons. It's nice. I think now the only thing I'm going to need now is a wand. I bet I can craft myself up one with an uh, enchanting. I think if I hand it off to my rogue, or just find a wand used on an ox house or through a dungeon, one of the two. Alright folks, I'm going to end it here for the video. I thank you all so much for watching this. If you did enjoy this, even though it's like the seventh video into this little WoW classic series. Make sure that if you are enjoying, make sure that if you are enjoying these videos and you're vibing 
with the videos as much as I am because or not vibing but you know enjoying the videos as much as I am and vibing then do hit the like button as the likes help out a lot and if you want to you know share my videos around or even share my YouTube my YouTube channel around with other people go for it hang on sorry about congestion congestion and if you want to show your loyalty and support to the channel then by all means subscribe not that's to say bid you all Farewell. <laughs>